hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how we can create different screens in flutter and how we can implement route navigation to implement the navigation to our different screens on our flutter app so this is the new tutorial series and in this tutorial series i will provide many flutter tutorials in the future so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial and also if you are interested in react native app development then you can check my channel i have provided many tutorials on react native as well so you can definitely check out those and if you like this kind of tutorials then hit the like button and let me know by commenting down below and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial so as you can see over here this is a fresh new flutter project and i am already running this flutter project on my android emulator so right now over here i will create two different screens and after that we will implement the navigation between these two so over here in this leaf directory i am creating another directory called screens and within screens i will create home screen dot dot file for home screen and i am creating another screen which is details screen okay for both of these we will create stateless widget because currently we are not working with any kind of data so stateless widget will be good enough for this project so first we need to import material dot package and after that we will create stateless widget and its name will be home screen right because this is a home screen so we need to create a scaffold wrapper for creating this screen and within scaffold in the body section i will provide the container column other widgets which we require so currently over here i will provide a center widget and within this widget i will provide the child and over here i will provide column widget and within column i will provide first a text widget where i will provide just a text so this is just a generic message and after that text i will provide a button raise button and within this raise button i will provide a child over here i will provide the text and for on press currently i am providing null i have saved it now we need to import that in our main dot file right so for this first i am importing it and i am removing these comments and for this home now we can pass home screen and we don't require all this my home page class so i am deleting all this so now save it so there is some problem because currently we haven't implemented the app bar yet so we have just implemented the body section so right now we need to provide the app bar and within the app bar we need to provide the title so for the title text i will provide home page okay and this is in the center position because we have wrapped this body with center but we want it in the middle of this page so for this we need to provide main axis alignment center now it is positioned at the middle of the screen and let me implement some style as well for this text so i am providing font size 22 so now it's visible now we need to create our detail screen so first we need to import material dot and then our stateless widget name of this will be detail screen and it will be like our home screen so i'm just copying this return statement and it will be details page and we are in the details page now and i don't need this raised button i will implement another button to go back later 
but right now we have ok we don't need it so this is our detail screen and this is our home screen if we click on this raise button then we want to show our detail screen for this first of all we need to import the detail screen and after that over here we need to provide navigator dot push so it will push another screen to our app in this route we need to provide material page route and within this builder we will pass our detail screen so this is our code for navigation okay save it so right now we can see that our button is activated if i click on this go to details then we can see that we are in the details page now and we can see our app bar page title has been changed as well as we have provided here and we have the back button automatically so if i click on this back button then we can go back to our home page and if i click on this go to details button then we are in the details page now but it is automatically created by flutter right but if we want to implement our own custom solution then what we need to do then we will use the pop navigator we can say that we have created this push navigator right to go back to different screen or remove current screen we need to pop the screen so for this i am creating floating action button so i have added this back arrow and for on press i will provide navigator pop save it now we can see that button has been created and now if i click on this button then we can see that we are in the home page now so that's how we can create our custom navigation for pushing a screen and popping current screen so this is quite good that we can do it from here but there are other better solution to implement this currently as you can see that to navigate to different screens we have to create this navigator on that screen on that element only and if our app is quite big and there have different pages different screens to navigate to then it will be quite difficult to keep track all those navigators so that's why we have other approach where we can keep track all those navigator route in a centralized section so for that we can create route to this main dot file over here we can see that home is set to home screen under that we can create routes and in the routes we can define all our navigation so within routes we can provide main route like this and in here we can provide our home screen so if we refer to this string then we will go to our home screen and this is the initial route as well so currently we can comment out this home and then this slash will be used for the for our initial route and for other routes we can create detail screen and then detail screen so we need to import the detail screen as well over here for that it has been automatically important so i have updated its path so currently this is our route table over here as you can see that we have all the navigation present at one place so it is quite easy to keep track all the navigation and we can call these strings to navigate to our different screen so i have saved it and then initial route so we have to restart our app and initial route is set to this string this is by default so we don't need to provide that so as you can see that it is working fine but we can use this initial route to change it to our different screen like if we want detail screen to be our initial route then we can implement that then 
we need to reload it once now we can see that we are in the details page right so this is how we can use our initial route to set different route for our initial page but as we are not using details pane for our initial route then we can comment it out and this front slash will be used for the initial route so save it and reload it now we can see that our home page is set to our initial route now we need to change this so we are going to use navigator of context and then we need to push but currently we will not use the push we will use push named over here we will provide the name of the route and the name of the route is details screen right and reload it now if i click on this go to details then we can see that it is still working as previously and we can click on it and it is going back to our home screen because over here we have implemented the pop and pop removes current screen from the stack so that's how it's working and over here we can make it little bit more constructive as well because you can see that we are using this string in these two areas and there are several cases that we have to use many routes and for all those routes we have to keep track all those different string names and we have to make sure that we don't misspell those names in any of these areas if we do so then we will have trouble loading our app so for that we can define this string in one place and then we can use it in multiple times multiple areas so for that we can create a static constant called route and we can provide a name for the route our route name is detail string we can provide whatever we want over here it is not have to be detail string we can provide details or we can provide a b c whatever we want but i am going with this data screen as it is explaining in which page i am going so this is the static constant route which i have created and i will use that to navigate to our screen and we don't need to create this over here because we are not in the data screen it is not our data screen it is our home screen right we need to create the route for detail screen in detail screen file so this is the route for detail screen and after that over here i don't need to provide the string i can give it like this okay so detail screen route and also we can change it like this it is route name so it will be route name so that's how we can make it so in that way we don't need to keep track of the spelling of the screen so we can just use it like this and it will take care rest of the thing to make sure it's working properly i'm restarting it so i'm clicking on this and we are in the details page now and i'm popping the screen we are back in the home page now so that's how we can implement the navigation in our flutter app so i hope you have learned something new and if you like this tutorial then hit the like button and let me know by commenting down below and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and in the next tutorial i am going to show you how we can create the side drawer in our app so stay tuned for that and i will see you on my next tutorial so in the meantime have a great day goodbye